that only has a point but does not have our angle theta. Now, what we did before is when we we can give them that point, we could find that angle by using the unit circle. However, this is not a point that's on the unit circle. So what we're going to have to do is to evaluate our trigonometric terms, we're going to have to use a triangle. So one thing I need to notice is if I remember cotangent, when we were talking about cotangent with the unit circle, hopefully you guys remember that cotangent was equal to kind of your x over y. Or what we could say is your adjacent over your opposite. Therefore, I can go and create a triangle just with those two points. So if you think of like your cotangent, 3, 2, you can see if like it's a little point right there that's off the unit circle. By creating a triangle, I could say that this distance, which is your adjacent, 3, 2. Then by using the Pythagorean theorem, I get this point is going to be square root of 13. Right? By using Pythagorean theorem. Is that what everybody had for them? Yeah. Good. So therefore, now we have all three points. Well, this is going to be your right angle. So this is a point. Notice that it's not on the unit circle, right? Because on the unit circle, our radius is what? 1. Here, our radius is square root of 13. All right. So before, we could um, evaluate when we use the unit circle. But that was for points that were on the unit circle. Well, since we don't have it on the unit circle, to find our sine, remember, that's going to be sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of theta equals 2 over square root of 13. Cosine, I'll get to the rationalizing here in a second. Cosine is going to be 3 over square root of 13. And tangent of theta is going to recircle that, which is going to be um, opposite over adjacent, which is 2 over 3. Um, let's go ahead and let's do secant or cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Please make sure you guys know that. Cosecant is a reciprocal of sine. So what's the reciprocal of that? Square root of 13 over 2. And secant, which is the reciprocal of um, cosine, is going to be square root of 13 over 3. Cool? Now, we cannot leave our answer like this. Right? Do you remember us talking about that? Same thing when we have i on the bottom. You cannot leave i, nor can you leave your square root on the bottom. So you have to rationalize the denominator. When you rationalize, you get 2 square root of 13 over 13, 3 square root of 13 over 13. All right, any questions so far off this? No? Feel good? Awesome.